All right, so today's video, we get to show off the SSP Fox Body Mustang. So it is finally back, and just look at it. Would you look at it? Jason did such an insanely good job on this thing. Oh, and, and look who's sitting in the front seat. <laughs> this car is top notch. Isn't it beautiful? Dude, he knocked it out of the park. When this thing came back, my eyes were four times the size they are. This is a retired California Highway Patrol car. It's in 1988. If you look back in our previous videos, you'll see how this thing started and what it looked like when we first acquired it and the journey it's been on. So Jason, a good friend of ours who's done a few, several cars for us now, he specializes in Fox bodies. He's in Riverside, California, and the attention to detail is just way, way over the top. I've done one of these before, and I wanted to do another one. I cut the last car loose to a good friend of mine. The car lives half of its life at the Peterson Auto Museum, but it was a full-scale California Highway Patrol, retired, completely restored. Not to this level, it was restored, but not to this right. level of restoration. That car was never put on a, a rotisserie. This one has been. I, we had to do it again, and when this came on the market, I found it on Craigslist, it was, advertised as a retired CHP, and he had all the documentation to prove that it was. It was a relatively low mileage car. Was it still in California? It, it stayed in California its nice. entire life. Just sat in someone's garage, and, and we picked it up with its original paint job. And so, how many miles are on it? Because the interior is so, so nice. 90,000 miles, and we didn't restore the interior on this. We removed everything, put it on a rotisserie, and got it to the the level it's at now. Who gets to drive these? Are there designated officers that get the cool Mustang? Well, it all depends on where the car is assigned. So yes, mm -hmm. most Mustangs back in the early 80s, mid 80s, mm -hmm. and of course into the 90s, you saw a lot of these in the desert areas mm -hmm. and in the desolate areas where mm -hmm. there was people just screaming 100 miles an hour up the freeway. <laughs> and so most of these cars lived in those environments, you know, wow. so high desert. You know, there were Mustangs used in some of the urban areas as well okay. or heavy city areas, yeah. but mostly these were freeway chasers because you couldn't really put a bad guy in the back seat of one of these, you know. What would happen is, is if, you, if you got pulled over by an officer in uh, this, you're in, getting in towed, this. right? Well, uh, <laughs> if you're getting pulled over and arrested, what's going to yeah. end up happening? Yeah, you're getting towed. <laughs> Not everybody got towed. You know, what happened was they would strap someone into the front passenger seat, kept their no their, their hands behind their back. Right. So you couldn't catch so they an couldn't, elbow in the Yeah, so they couldn't, you know, kind of pull their legs, pull their arms underneath oh, their elbows and, and or underneath their legs and get out of the uh, handcuffs. But so anyway, yeah, Jason did... A phenomenal job. We ended up replacing all of the glass, all of the lights. The headlights on this car are running Ford OEM headlight assemblies. All the rubbers, all the moldings, everything's brand new. You know, I think the only panel we replaced on this car was the driver's side fender. Other than that, this car retains all its original equipment on it. One of the things that you'll see in a future video is we have a Fox Body Florida State Trooper Mustang SSP. It's a 93, and it's been fully restored by a previous owner, and we purchased it from them, and they had a supercharger installed in it. And one of the things we wanted to do is a battle of the SSPs, West Coast to East Coast. And so we took the two, the two largest, you just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> we took the two largest agencies that acquired Mustangs and we're gonna pit them against each other. So when this car is done, we're gonna take the Florida Trooper car, we're gonna take the California High Patrol car out to the track and we're gonna pit them against each other. So with that being said, we decided we had to give this thing some some dun, extra dun, juice. Dun, so uh, right? this thing now has a uh, Kenny Bell. You can tell I'm not familiar with Musk. Oh, wait. There you uh, go. I got lucky. There you go. It was pure luck. This has got the Kenny Bell, the root style supercharger. Jason did the install on it. What's interesting about this supercharger, it's not like extreme. It's a carb certified supercharger. <laughs> Since this car is in California, we went with carb legal headers. We went with a carb legal supercharger. This actually passes a smog check. It still retains all its cats. Dude, was this, did they do this at CHP or is this? No, a, no. no? Oh, okay. Jason wanted to add mm -hmm. these last minute since we're giving it a little power. We even went as far as adding a full rear disc brake assembly. These cars didn't come from the factory back in the day with disc brakes in the rear. They had drum rear, disc front. That explains the proportioning valve. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's okay. new too. And hey, before we go any further, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out with our algorithm with YouTube. And then also, you know, a thumbs up and a comment. I'd love to hear, you know, if you guys have these cars sitting around wanting to get to them someday hit us up. I'd love to hear about what you guys are doing. And if you have any ideas or if you need help or a direction, hit us up. You know, these cars out of the factory, the panel alignment was never to this level. I mean, Jason did such an amazing job on the bodywork on this car. I was going to say, work. you know, that term showroom, right? It's thrown around. Oh, the car showroom, the I know. car showroom, right? How perfect and cherry a car is. This is better than showroom. I know. They never looked like this. No. All of the SSP Mustangs from 87 all the way to 93 had these aluminum wheels. These are the upgraded LX wheel. Are these SSP specific mirrors? They're so... No. They're not. No, they're just... It's the standard mirror. They, they look they great. Offer. They're compact. They're close to the car. I yeah. thought that was like an SSP thing. No, no, yeah. no. It's your standard mirror. Wow. California Highway Patrol ordered them in manual transmissions mm -hmm. with roll-up windows. Of course, all their cars had air conditioning. It doesn't take much to lean over and roll the window up. But, no, totally, um, but you would think this car would be an automatic. It would have power right. windows, and, and, power and, locks. And that's something you could order yeah. back in the day, depending on the agency. Some of the agencies mm -hmm. ordered them with automatics mm -hmm. and power windows. Mm -hmm. and the CHP wanted it a certain way. and <laughs> They wanted their, uh, their desert agents or officers to have fun i guess yeah right? these cars these cars were amazing on the i mean back yeah. in the day these are 140 150 mile an hour car you know these things would just fly down the highway yeah. god look at the detail work so these quarter windows there was a company remanufacturing this entire window and this window came with the rubber surround right we were lucky enough for jason to have a set of brand new oem you know, so wait, he just had a set laying around he had a set laying he's around. that kind of guy. He's that kind of guy, man. He, <laughs> nice. he, he restores so many of these things. That when, you, oh. when you see it, when you see stuff, you got to grab yeah. it. So, so we were able to buy those from him and that just really made the car because these do get weathered and they're hard to bring back to life. But the fact that these were brand new, it was just an added plus. Our next step is to turn this back into a California Highway Patrol vehicle. And there's a lot more work that needs to go into this vehicle to put it back to its in-service condition. We've already had the antenna installed. The reason why we went with the antenna installation is because since Jason had the entire interior out of the vehicle, we had the headliner drop down and he wanted to run the wire under this yellow tape. Those are the original holes for the spotlights. This was filled with Bondo as well. Actually, it, it had a little metal plate welded over it and grinded down. Jason was able to remove all that and reveal the exact holes for the uh, whiptail antenna. The next step is, is to start collecting all the parts required to finish this car. Now, I've been collecting these parts for quite some time, and I still... Now, when I did the first car, when I did the 89, I lucked out. And the reason why you see this, this Highway Patrol Diplomat back here is because I want to show off some of the equipment in that car. This is a actual in-service Highway Patrol car that we acquired about a year ago. And that car, I'm going to use that as kind of a tool to show you guys what kind of equipment we need. I'm not gonna rob them out of that car because our plan is, is to restore that car. <laughs> it's so it's not a sacrificial car. Don't think for a second, yeah. I didn't think, ah, oh, you know what? A Mustang is better than a Diplomat. Let's just steal all the stuff we need out of that. I, I, I can't do that. The so, Diplo is nice. Yeah. This is a dying breed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is an 88. That's an 81. I mean, that's 40-year-old car. It's a niche car. group of people that like these. Yeah. Why this car, man? Why Why the Mustang? Well, I mean, I get it. It's a Mustang. It's a Fox it's a body Mustang, right? which is already popular, and, and, and people just are they're coveted man, why by cop people. why cars, man? Why do you like cop cars? I don't. You know, <laughs> look, formerly a police officer. Yeah, I was true. a deputy for years. I was a, served as a police officer in San Clemente for years before uh -huh. that. You know, growing up as a kid watching Chips, you know. I gotta I, admit that was cool. I you gotta chips. remember, because yeah. look, I'm, I'm what, how old am I? I'm, 70? I'm, I'm 70 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in my late 50s. Right. And, you know, growing up as a teenager, you know, rushing home from school, school. Uh, being a teenager, I, I, I would run home and watch Chips. I hear you. All those fun shows yeah. that, you know, to this day are still yeah. popular. Watching these cars flip every time they rear-ended mm. a car and seeing these in pursuit, I don't know. It's yeah. so funny, the cars that stick with us, the nostalgia of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and you being a, you didn't become a cop for, because of the cars, though. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I mean, yeah, right? It's like, uh, oh, I want to be a police officer. So at what age? I get to drive fast. I get to pull people what, over. At what age? People. Yeah, right? No, I mean, at what age do you do that? I mean, I, uh-huh. you know, it's funny. People ask me that all the time. And, mm-hmm. and honestly, I, yeah. I, I only did it for seven, eight years, you know, full time. Oh, wow. Okay. I did, it, I did it part time after that. But, you know, once I started, you know, once I bought a body shop and I started getting into the car m- movement, mm-hmm. you know, that, that was way more fun and a lot less stress yeah and engaging i would do it all over again and yeah. again i have the utmost respect for our officers to go out there and risk their lives and, oh, dude. and put that uniform on, the line on every, every day. day i can't even begin to tell you how mm-hmm. much i have respect and appreciation for these guys so but no the cars did draw me in i'm, I'm not going to deny mm-hmm. it you know and, but and, the diplomat that's before your time This is an early, early car. We picked this up from a good friend of mine who's also a police car collector. Now, this car needs restoration. This is a 25-year-old restoration. This is an authentic California Highway Patrol car. And for you guys that are into patrol cars, you can always tell an 81 Diplomat CHP because the eight pillars are black. All following year diplomats all the way through 88 had white A pillars. Only a true cop car nerd would know that. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Yeah. But yeah, so this is kind of a unique police car. It's not the most desirable police car. It's just running a 318. That's what they ran back in the day. This is a documented CHP car in service. It was sold shortly out of service, and the gentleman that bought it immediately restored it as a CHP car and acquired all of the original equipment that was taken off of it. It'll be fun restoring this car. And what's nice about restoring this car is all the equipment's there. It even has a shotgun rack in it still. Let's see. No way, that's like a death clamp. <laughs> that's what they did back in the day. And the Mustangs had Dude. them too. The Mustangs had them too. Dude, and I love that clipboard. I mean, that's not for a laptop. That nope. is for a piece of paper well, you and got, pen. Well, you got to remember, man, back in the day, what are you going to do? This is where you'd write your calls down for service. And, and, and this and car so is too clean. This is this should be in a museum. It's so nice in here. It's decent. It's ready yeah. for restoration, though, this car. This is a custom-made controller. This operates and controls all your lights, your wigwags, your rear deck lights, your siren. This unit was only made for the California Highway Patrol by Federal Signal, and it's extremely hard to find. This is what I need for that Mustang, so I'm looking for one of these. And I know a guy that has one. It's actually a buddy of mine who I bought in a few Polaris from, because these aren't the only Mm-hmm. So pathetic. These aren't the only police cars we have. I really need to convince him to let go of this thing for me just to complete that build. And then, of course, this isn't the exact radio that was used back in the day. Someone actually put a label that says California Highway Patrol on it, but that's not correct. It wouldn't have said that. The scanner's correct. This is a correct scanner that you'd see in the Mustang. So essentially, we, we need a scanner. We need this federal signal CC1 system. We need a MICOR radio. And then, of course, I need to build a shotgun rack. Fortunately, I know where to buy this lock device. I know where to buy the base. And I have all of the schematics for the original shotgun rack for the Mustang and I'll just make it. I wanted to show this off to you guys. Not so much to show the car off. We're going to do a a restoration on this car at some point and I'll pull it out of the shop and we'll showcase this in a separate video on the restoration of this Diplomat. I really wanted to show you the equipment that we need for the Mustang. Dude, before you get out, pick up that uh, device there. I don't know what that's referred to as. It's called a mic. Mic, yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's not coming out. Is there a reason why you want me to do it? It's a demo. It's not even real. What are you talking about? No, does it come out? I don't know. I don't want to break it. I thought it was like, uh, you know, just a display model. It should snap out, but oh, I see. The bolt that it's screwed in on is is coming out. Is coming out. Ah, so I wanted have you to... have in, I wanted you to call in that MR2 over there. It's looking a little suspicious. I I thought it would be funny, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway.
So let's start talking about some parts and kind of where we stand on this build. So we've pulled some of the parts out and what I want to do is kind of showcase what we have so far. Let's start with the spotlights, right? There's a company called Larson Electronics. And for those of you interested, you can actually go on their website. They actually make a spotlight kit for a Mustang, a Fox body Mustang. The only problem is the older Mustang restorations and the older police car restorations all of the current spotlights, the actual housing for the shell of the light is plastic. And that's not how they came back in the, you know, early 80s, late 80s, 90s. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is an actual correct size shaft. The housing is wrong. This is basically chrome plastic. And the actual handle itself, this is all correct, but this is wrong. This is incorrect for the year. The original spotlights had an ivory black handle. The ivory handle was painted black. So what are you combing through old photos and reference stuff to figure that out or what? I just, yeah. I mean, yeah. years of doing this, mm -hmm. you kind of figure that out. So I could put this on the Mustang right now, but this isn't the correct housing. This handle is a modern handle that you see on modern day police cars. So what I ended up having to do, right? I bought these and I thought, man, I really didn't want to get into cutting the, the shaft down. So I found on eBay a guy selling a set of takeoff 95 Caprice CHP spotlights. Oh, no way. So These are what, obviously refinished, right? No, no. They're, they're original. No, they're and so, such good shape. You could see the difference in shaft size. Now, can I use these on the Mustang? Yeah, I could, but the spotlight's going to be in your way. What we're going to do, take this head this entire head off of this and just steal the shaft. And then I'm gonna take this what? handle. That is the correct handle. This has got this rubber red line deal. This is a correct handle for a car all the way into the mid nineties. That's our plan. So that's what it takes, man, right? For authenticity. Yeah, yeah. you wanna keep it original. Let's talk about the whiptail antenna. So a while back, there was a gentleman on eBay who years and years and years ago, he actually purchased a pallet of whiptail antenna bases from the California Highway Patrol auction. I think I bought 10 of them from him. We're gonna clean this up and paint it, but that's essentially gonna go right there. And then of course, the deck lights, that's the next big thing. So on the Mustang setup in, I wanna say 85, they switched over to three lights for the rear deck. Earlier cars, I think 84, they had just two lights, like the Diplomat. You had a red deck light and you had a amber deck light. And then in 85, they introduced a third light, which was your blue light. I found a company in Canada that remanufactures these lights. It's called Transelectric. And Transelectric actually remanufactures a light that replicates the Grout Par 46. And that's this light right here. It's not plastic. It's actually stainless steel and, and chromed, but you could see the difference. The SSP Mustang car being a smaller car, they wanted to take up as little room as possible. Now, mind you, they're painted pretty much a satin finished silver. These were not made and left chrome because the reflective value in the driver's mirror would be too great. I actually bought, I think, 10 of these. I wanna say they were 40 bucks each. I have extras if you guys need any. <laughs> Next and, and last, what I've got so far to date is our graphics. So CHP graphics are really unique. They were made by a company called Vitachrome, and that company has since gone out of business, and there's been a handful of people replicating the decals. Let me just show you kind of what we're up against on this car. I'm not too worried about the Mustang behind me. I have enough decals to complete the build. These are a set of original graphics from Highway Patrol. The back says Vitachrome. I just happened to find someone that had a set of original decals. I may end up just sending these out to a buddy of mine and having copies made just to make sure that we have an original set of prints because I don't know how many more of these we're gonna have. Just for the hell of it, those are 25 year old graphics now. Let's go take a look and compare them to these. I mean, mind you, these are faded, right? But you could see that this is an original graphic never used. So the next step, moving forward, my plan is, is to really focus on this build and getting this done. That's it for now. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And if you guys have any comments or need any help, hit us up. Be happy to answer any questions you have. In my opinion, there's only so many of these left. And, you know, to preserve these is so worth it. You know, there's just 
how long are we going to get to enjoy these as police cars, right? So with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Check out our other videos. Go to our main channel and just scroll through all our video content. There's a lot of stuff. We're hoping that you guys like what you see. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.